As more chilling details about the plane crash emerge, pilots across the country are reacting. KBC 9's Scott McDonald spoke with a local pilot who tells us about dramatic changes that are meant to protect pilots. Scott? Man, those security changes actually ended up working in exactly the opposite way they were intended to. Ended up keeping everybody out. That includes a pilot who may have been able to save hundreds of lives. Now, earlier today, we caught up with a local pilot, Austin Hunt from New Century Air Services. He tells us that after 9-11, major changes were made to secure that cockpit door. Signed in by President Bush, the flight deck door was beefed up. Electronic systems were also required. So if somebody, even a pilot, was locked out, there's no way they're getting in. All our light switches. Those doors are, are made to withstand uh, heavy impact, you know, from, from you know, someone possibly trying to force their way into the uh, cabin or, or the uh, flight deck. And also, uh, they're even made to withstand some, some uh, you know, small explosions from a, some sort of a, uh, you know, explosive device or a uh, grenade even. It's possible a tragedy like this could be prevented in the United States. That's because the FAA requires two people to be inside the cockpit at all times, two members of the flight crew. So if one pilot leaves, somebody else must come in. It's not like that in foreign countries. It's only a suggestion. However, just today, the two major German airlines announced they will now adapt and adopt a two-pilot policy. Reporting live, Scott McDonald, KNBC 9 News. And today, Canada changed their policy in the wake of this crash. The transport minister issued an immediate order requiring two crew members to be in the flight deck at all times.